Hello everyone. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Those in my country. Good morning, good evening to those who are not here. And uh, according to the time zone. And I came to speak a little, something little. God has been speaking to me. God is telling me to, to start a series about the prophets. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that your word may be heard. And whoever will hear will know that your word is a sword. Speak to us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I, I, I want God has been telling me to speak about the prophets. You know, from the beginning when man sinned, God used to speak to send prophets. And prophets were the eyes of the nation. The prophets were the eyes of the kingdoms. Prophets were the eyes of legions. And God used to send them to warn or to give promises. Some of them are called doom prophets because they used to warn. And I used to ask myself when I was reading the Bible and teachers could say Jeremiah was a doom prophet. And I didn't know why. Because always Jeremiah, when he came to prophesy, he could warn the people. He could tell them what they were, go were doing, the wrong things they were doing. And could tell them the wrong things we were doing and the wrong things, which were, bad things which were going to come to them. And when I was reading, when I was studying the Bible, God spoke to me. And I was asking myself why no we no longer have prophets. In nowadays, it is very hard to find someone prophesying and going to the key, to the White House to prophesy. Can we say that God no longer speak to us through the prophets? Can we say that God no longer have prophets? The Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel, let's read there. 1 Samuel, chapter 3. In verses 1, now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord in the presence of Eli. And the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. There was no frequent vision. Remember Eli was a, pro a priest in the tabernacle in the days of Samuel when he was young. And we know most of us what happened to the children of Eli. If you do not know, the children of Eli just misused the sacrifices people brought into the, into the temple. Because of their greed, they could eat meat in a wrong way. Because of greed, they used to eat meat when it was not proper. So the Bible says that God you could not speak to Eli anymore because his house was, was greedy. The Bible says that the word of the Lord was rare. I've been asking myself, why do, do we no longer have prophets? That the countries are going in their, their way and no one is speaking. 
I was asking myself, why do, do we no longer have, I mean, we had COVID came and nobody warned about the nations that what was coming. Sicknesses are breaking up and nobody is warning the country what, what is coming. And then we are going to read the book of Isaiah and then we see it is going to be a series. It may take three or four days. Isaiah chapter 56. If you have your Bible, you open and we... we we study together. Chapter 56, verses 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all without knowledge. They are all silent dogs. They cannot bark. Dreaming, lying down, loving to slumber. They never, verses 11, the dogs have mighty appetite. Their appetites are high. They never have enough, but they are shepherds who have no understanding. They have all turned to their own way, each to his own gain, one and all. We know all the use of dogs. Their responsibility is to keep the house, is to protect the house. And when you hear the, the dog barking outside, just get to know there is something wrong going out. Do not just stop the dog to bark. Just prepare yourself. When you hear the dog barking, do not just sleep or just stop the, the dog to bark. It is barking because there is something wrong going out. So the prophets were the dogs. They were watchmen. God used to speak through them. God used to warn the nations through them. And every time, you know, every time the kings could see the prophets coming to them, they could ask them, have you come because of peace or something wrong? Why have you come? Is there something wrong that were the responsibility of the prophets? And you know we read, we know about the, the story of Saul. When he took time without seeing and without knowing what was going on, Samuel, went, Saul went to the to, to, to a medium to consult what was going on. He said, I no longer hear from God. God no longer speak to me. I no longer see any prophet coming to me. Meaning there is something wrong. What is the problem? My country, Uganda, ask yourself, can we ask ourselves what is going on? We no longer have prophets to, to, to speak to us about what is going on in the country. Where are you are? Wherever you are, ask yourself, do, do, you, do, you, do you have prophets who prophesy about what is going on in the country? About the situation going on? 
Saul asked himself, I no longer hear from God. Maybe there is something wrong about me, about my kingdom. So I must go and look for a medium. A medium was the eye of God to the people. God used to speak to the people through the prophets. They were the mouth of God to people. They were the eyes of God to people. So, why do we no longer have prophets? Why do prophets no longer prophesy? And the Bible says that when Jeremiah wanted to compromise the word of God, when Jeremiah wanted to be like the other prophets, like he wanted to, to speak what others were speaking, God spoke to him and told him, if you do, if you come back, I will come back to you. Maybe there is a problem with our prophets. Praise the Lord. We are no longer seeing the responsibility of the prophets. We are no longer seeing visions. We are no longer hear from them speaking to us, warning the nations, warning the countries. The prophets were the voice of, the, of those who were oppressed. We shall continue from that. May God bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that you speak to us more and more. Teach us more and more. As, a, may, 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 as someone is watching, may them ask themselves, may them, O oh Lord, come back to you. Those whom you're supposed to speak through them, O oh God, when they are not been in their places, positions, may you position, position them in, again, O oh Lord, so that you speak to them in Jesus' mighty name. May God bless you so much. Let us continue from there tomorrow.